This is The Switch, finding solutions to support sustainable living and combat climate change at the individual level. Brought to you by the Fur Bearers. If you're an active gardener like me who's always trying to lessen their impact on the local environment, rain barrels are a fantastic place to start. For those who are unfamiliar, rain barrels are what they sound like. Vessels or containers that catch and store rainwater for later use. Often, you'll see these connected to homes via eaves troughs for easy collection and access. There are some commonly known benefits to using rain barrels, but in my research, I came across a few I wasn't as familiar with. So make sure to reach out and let me know which ones you did or didn't know about, or if I missed any. Let's start with the more well-established benefits of rain barrels. Water conservation, cost savings, and drought resilience. By storing natural precipitation, we reduce our reliance on municipal water supplies and systems, which in turn reduces water usage fees on utility bills when we water our gardens or yards. These savings can be particularly impactful during dry or drought conditions, when water restrictions may be in place or access is entirely limited. In a larger environmental context, rain barrels can make a bigger impact than you may have thought. Municipal waste and stormwater systems can easily be overwhelmed during significant rainfalls. In urban areas where the ground is impermeable due to asphalt, concrete, and man-made structures, this can happen even faster. By storing rainwater, and even slowing it down as it leaves our properties, we reduce this impact and make it easier and more cost-effective for municipalities to manage runoff. Slowing down the runoff has the added benefit of slowing erosion. Erosion occurs from water when it moves quickly over the surface of the ground and can't penetrate into the ground. When this occurs, it washes away nutrients, microbes, and the soil itself, making it harder to keep the soil healthy for plants to grow in. Rainwater has the added benefit of being a healthier choice for many plants, too. Municipal or well water can be treated to make it clean for humans to drink. But plants with sensitive systems may be impacted by these human-safe substances. Rainwater is free of these elements and typically a temperature that benefits plant health and growth. Installation of simple rainwater collection systems is straightforward and most handy folks can manage it on their own. The process is often to feed an existing eaves trough into the barrel. Screens built into the barrels keep leaves and other items out and overflow holes allow for excess water to safely drain. Municipalities or conservation NGOs who offer rain barrels may have referrals to companies that can assist with installation for those who require it. And if you're a bit adventurous, there's an endless world of possibilities when it comes to rainwater collection. For example, I've collected hundreds of liters of water from a steel shed by creating a simple system with parts from Canadian Tire. You can see images of that in this week's show notes. Rainwater can be used to water your lawn, vegetable gardens, potted plants, or connected to an irrigation system to keep plant roots moist and healthy through the growing season. Have you made the switch to rainwater in your home or created innovative collection systems? Let me know on Instagram by connecting with me at Howie Michael or finding contact information in this week's show notes. Thanks, everyone. Want to learn more about this week's episode and how your choices can benefit wildlife and their habitat? View the show notes in your app or visit DefenderRadio.com. To learn more about the Fur Bearers, visit TheFurBearers.com or find them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Follow host Michael Howie on social media with at Howie Michael on Instagram or Defender Radio Podcast on Facebook. Subscribe or follow Defender Radio to get notified about new episodes of The Switch and Defender Radio right on your smart device. Thanks for listening.